word on the curb is there is a brand new color wow dream coat that is extra strength formulated for the curly coily girls like me with dry hair so i'm on my way to sephora to go ahead and pick it up i'm gonna wash and deep condition my hair and then we're gonna sit down and get into this Y'all, it's honestly the next day, but we're not even going to get into that. My hair has been washed and properly prepped, let me tell you. That wash day video will be up soon, so make sure you have subscribed and turn your notifications on because I use some products that I know y'all want to know about. But it's time to get into this Color Wow Dream Coat Extra Strength. So I never tried the original, but the girlies went crazy over it, apparently. And this one is supposed to be formulator for dry hair and for curlier hair. So I'm going to put this to the full test because I'm going to the Renaissance concert tonight and it's outside. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my hair in these um, six sections because I want to work in small sections. And it's probably going to look really time consuming, but I'm going to like... I'm going to apply this to each section before I start blow drying my hair. I'm really making sure this is coating my hair. I want to make sure product gets worked in. I hope my hair isn't too wet because it does say use on damp hair. Y'all, and it's slippery. Make sure I'm getting my roots because we know that is the coiliest, kinkiest, it's the newest. It ain't never been colored, it's virgin. It's got, you know, keep it in place. Now, y'all know why I'm nervous about this. Well, most, well, I don't really get nervous about applying heat to my hair. That doesn't really bother me because I feel like I know how to do it properly. But the fact that like this is the only product I'm using on my hair to straighten my hair. Y'all know like I layer heat protectant on my hair. And this is supposed to, this has a heat protectant up to 380 I believe. Y'all, I got 4C hair. <laughs> 380? <laughs> my hair laughs at it. So I don't know. I feel like I might have to call in reinforcements because... <laughs> Maintaining the coil is always, always first and foremost when it comes to doing my hair, regardless of the product. But I also don't want to sabotage these products. Well, this product. And I really want to make sure I follow the directions. I hope my hair isn't too wet. Like, I had it in that microfiber cloth for a while, but like... I don't know if you can tell, but it's already like, I feel like it's already repelling water. Like water is just dripping off my hair. But I'm hoping that I leave enough water so that it locks some of the moisture in, right? Like, especially cause I ain't leaving, I ain't using no leave-in. Like, come on. Y'all thought I was playing about, Oh, almost got my eye. I thought I was playing about these roots. I am not playing about these roots. Even though my corral don't even get this close to my roots. What am I doing? And in case you're wondering why I'm squeezing my hair, I really like to squeeze product into my hair strands, especially my leave-ins, which I usually apply in the shower. I don't do this with all products, but I just feel like it's more effective and I feel like it really works it into my hair. So yeah, I figured that would be a question. Product fully applied. Now to activate this and to really make this dream coat work, you are supposed to rely on heat and tension. So I'm going to be using my Dyson Supersonic. I'm going to use it all the way up fan and heat on three because I want this to be like the best blowout ever. And I'm going to be using this paddle brush from Dyson to really create tension. Um, I might struggle with this, so don't judge me. You know, she's, she's a work in progress.
this is what one section looks like blow dry so like if you are familiar with my channel like i blow dry my hair i put heat on my hair very often but honestly i have not seen my hair like do this yeah, from just a blowout like not no straightening no extra heat on the highest temperature of my blow dryer okay I ain't gonna sit here and play in my hair all day. I got things to do. I gotta get ready for Beyonce tonight. So um, let me go ahead and finish this up and then we'll see how it looks. Like I'll come back when I'm gonna start straightening my hair because I am honestly shook right now. All right, so the hair is freshly blow dried and now for the long part of this, straightening my hair. But I think the blowout looks pretty good. It's probably like the best blowout I've done in a long time. I've seen people say that their hair feels stiff and sticky and they don't really like it. But I don't know. Fred's feeling kind of kind of soft. So, of course, the Dyson Corral, I have to let it heat up. So it'll be a little minute, but not for y'all. And I'll be back to see the final results. Real quick, I know my ends look like Basura. I am three months overdue for a trim. I have one scheduled. I'm gonna handle that really soon. And also, this is real time of how I'm straightening my hair. I really like to take my time. I do no more than two passes and I do the chase method. Also, if you are enjoying this video, I would appreciate if you went ahead and gave it a thumbs up. And if you wanna subscribe, I mean, there's no pressure, but it is free. Okay, so I tried, I really did. I gave it a good effort. I was just going to use it, use my Corral, my straightener on 365, but that is just not enough heat for me. And since the heat protection for this Color Wild Dream Coat only goes up to 380, I did decide to use a little bit of Olaplex number seven because its heat protection goes up to 450. Um, and I'm using my corral on this highest setting, which is 14. And as you can see, like, it looks really good. And regardless of me using the oil on top of it, when I did the first pass, it was so soft. Like, I just have never gotten my hair this silky soft at home doing a silk press. So, you know, we still not gonna pay attention to these ends. I'm going to put some perm rods in my hair just to give it a little bump on the ends once I finish. And I will come back, give you guys one good look before I go to the concert tonight. So this is what I look like today. I'm not gonna tell you how many days it's been since I've straightened my hair. I want you to guess in the comments down below and I'll tell you before I end this video. We sat outside at the Beyonce concert for five hours. We got there around 7.30 and it was almost one o'clock before I got home and my hair looks like this. So my hair wasn't super silky straight anyways, but I do feel like the roots puffed up just a little bit. And that's partly because this corral doesn't get super close to my roots. So I'm not really bothered by that, but y'all, outside five hours, <laughs> kinky, coily textured hair, okay? Like this ain't no loose curl wave type situation. I have the type of hair when I walk outside, it can easily shrink up. This. Color Wild Dream Coat Extra Strength could turn me into a straight natural. I am not even playing with y'all. I've toyed with the idea before. My hair is still very soft and I don't know if it's because of the wash day and the products I use or this, but my hair feels really good. I will say that I did tweak the directions just a little bit. Um, when I went to straighten my hair, 
because the dream coat only goes up to 380 with heat protection and i needed to use my corral on 410 in order to get my hair this straight i did use some olaplex oil on my hair in order to straighten my hair and i have been using k18 on my ends but other than that i haven't done anything else to my hair other than put it on some flexi rods to give it a little bit of body every couple of days but this is actually day three hair i've been to that concert i've had pilates it's it's raining outside right now and this is what my hair looks like so for me I can say I had a great experience with this and if you are a natural or a curly girl like me and you want to straighten your hair from my personal experience I would say I could recommend it like I'm actually shocked that it worked this well. So if you have any questions, if you have tried this out before, what were your results? Do you highly recommend it? I really enjoyed this experience and actually I can't wait to straighten my hair at home again because this was too good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you guys in the next one.